No. Oh. It's um in the background, very nice princesses and princesses. It's on not responding right now. Just hang on. This is get even. Welcome back. Huh. There it goes. Whoop. Well, that took a long time to load. I tell you what. Okay. Bling. But Black, where are you? You promised to help me. Hello. Jesus, man. Get your hands off. The bloody Franny this. Shut up. Move. This room looks too familiar. Wait. I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Ah, yes. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. And try harder. Don't no worry, Chief. Glad to be aboard. Not a hair on her head. Trust me. But you brought me here. Fuck you. Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense! You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the messages your mind is sending. Uh -oh. Focus. That's it. The Pandora unit is offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Pursue this. Focus and proceed. Part of me is thinking that this doctor doesn't want us to remember what happened during the bomb thing because he might have been part of it. Just, or something to that effect. Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Okay, how does one get through door? Let's see. Police crime scene detected. Multiple homicide. Attending officers Fair and Chadwick. So what are we looking at? Multiple homicide. No IDs. I will warn you though, Chief. Fucking stinks in there. Well, then it's a good job I skipped breakfast. Come on. What the hell happened here? Watch him say none of your concern or something like that. What? Identification unconfirmed. Oh, look at that. His entire face. There goes any dental match. Shot off his hands too. It's a fingerprint or a bust. Professional job. Many stiffs and no idea. 
We can link this to hundred cases. So, uh, drug deal it is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my turners, lot? Uh, well, don't worry. Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Oh. Red, what is this? You are trying to process too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. Yeah. There, Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? Pandora will do the rest. What man? This one here? Or this one here? Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. Hmm. Sure there's more to it than that. Shin victim was found in the warehouse near Route 10 last week. The police found out who he was. Last week reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in the abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was found lying on the floor of the main hall in the warehouse. Victim having been ruthlessly shot from close range, according to a source, half of the victim's phrase has been shot off, making him unrecognizable. Police have concluded that the victim's name was Jasper Parado, a known mercenary and ex-military man who, ugh, with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Parado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment on the case. At this stage, it's still unknown if Parado was the only victim found in the scene. Uh-huh. This place again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though. As if something is bothering you. Who is Jasper? Comes from a working class family. Bright kid in school, though quickly lost all interest in education and started looking for fun elsewhere. Mostly partying in nightclubs and smoking pot with friends. Well, that's not a kind of good. That's not a very good life. He was in the army. He was a mercenary, drug dealer. He deals in all kinds of ridiculous stuff. Okay. Oh, before I do anything, I want to go this way. That key card thing again. I think there's always a problem, but anyway. I might as well go here and, uh. Whoosh! Sake, hurry! I'm trapped. You 
can stop this. My readings indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. Though we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. <laughs> What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. This is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone, and just let this run its course. I believe you're missing some evidence, Mr. Black. Are you sure you found everything? No, I'm not. Detective Bart Fair missing. 45 year old Detective Bart Fair has been reported missing following a four day period where he failed to report for work and his wife Jenny Fair was unable to contact him. The old Chronicle was able to contact Fair's workmate Hector Chadwick who was taking unpaid leave in order to help find his friend. He's always a great copper, Bart, but he's always got far too involved with his work. A man should never push his career, put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He better be fine. Detective Fair was participant of the Se Severn Police Bravery Award in 2009 following his famous rugby tackle of a knife maniac at Burnham Moore Street Station. Interesting. Oh nice, a door closes on my face. Black, I've been reviewing the data. Your disregard of protocol, pursuit of supposition, and lack of gathered evidence has rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. What? Oh, Red, not yet. I'm so close. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. I'm just trying to f Ugh. Man! You pulled me out. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. <sighs> uh. 
<coughs> Let's try a different approach this time, Black. Different how? I'd like to try starting... Before Prado was killed. You want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. Exactly what I was going to say. Hmm. I'll try something. Okay, so we can just replay that memory. Okay. I was thinking I could go back in and like do something different. Just crying in the warehouse. Let's pick to Hughes. I see what you did there. Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this, or there'll be consequences. Ain't happy this guy is a snitch, yeah, but I'm not sure. But, but putting him in the ground, if we dump boss, it's going to kill us, and his missus is gonna dance on our graves. Hmm. Bennett Warehouse, about a half a mile from the gas station on Route 10. It's not a shell station and it probably never was. One local myth suggests it got its name from the numerous shell casings found in the warehouse over the years. The place certainly looks like it witnessed its fair share of killing. And this information is restricted. Rats! My pleasure and privilege to express my appreciation for your contribution to the success of Operation Grapple. Uh huh. So, what did I do wrong last time? You just lost your way, Black, that's all. My reading suggests the majority of that memory remains unexplored. Focus this time. Assume nothing. 
Explore the memory in full. <laughs> Relax and explore. Very good, Mr. Black. Relax and explore. Yes. User said then. Remember, this is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of exactly what happened. Understood. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise against going in guns blazing. But try not to get spotted. Right. Uh, so I have to sneak in. Okay. Try not to go in gun blazing, he says. I oh, yeah, I can't climb over the wall. I mean, I might not have a choice. More like I don't see... I'll try, okay? I'm going to try, but... Let's see... I can't even climb over the wall. I wish I could climb over this.
Is there a way over that I just don't know about? So I'm confused. Do I just shoot the door and open it for me? Oh. I see. That's all I could, had to do. I'm so dumb. Can I climb over? So that's all I had to do. There, got a map. I'm trying to do this the right way, even though... I'm not sure how. Guns blazing, he says. I'm out. Tire. Highly unstable. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. So that's all I had to do. Just press one immediately. I have my camera out. I feel so dumb. Wheels are in motion.
I'm in that filing cabinet again, aren't I? But what are these? Weapons, Mr. Black. A personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board? That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. Okay. That's awfully nice of you. Right, when we come back, guys, with this game, until then, leave a like, subscribe, because there's always room for more. I'll see you all next video. Goodbye, everybody.